everyone and welcome back to Sign Language Worship. My name is Mandy and I'm so glad that you are here. Sign Language Worship is a YouTube channel dedicated to teaching you how to use sign language in order to worship our Lord and Savior. Today is actually a little bit different. Uh, it came in as a request. Someone, or a couple people actually, have inquired about learning Psalm 23. So today we're not doing a song. We're gonna learn uh, a little bit of memory work and I'm just really excited to do this with you guys. Uh, before I get started, remember I am left-handed, so that means if you are right-handed, you're going to mirror my signs. If you look below this video, you can find a link to print off the Bible verse, not the lyrics. Uh, and last but not least, please consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, let's get started right away. Psalm 23. So at the very end, we'll learn how to do the reference. Psalm 23. Okay, the Lord is my shepherd. So Lord is one we've learned a lot. So with your dominant hand, you're gonna make an L and you're gonna go from your non-dominant shoulder down. So you're making the sash that God might wear. Okay. I've always had my hand out like this just because it looks nice. There's no requirement for that to happen. So Lord, okay. The Lord is my, so pointing to yourself and then shepherd, you're doing the sign for sheep. So you're shearing up your arm and then person. Okay. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Okay. So once again, pointing to yourself or doing the eye here at your chest and then will, and then not, you bring your, uh, so will is like this, a straight hand out from your face, and not is like this, okay? Not, and then want, you're pulling in, okay, want. So let's try that. The Lord is my shepherd, or sorry, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Then he, pointing to God in heaven, makes, okay, so you have fists and you kind of bend your wrists and then put them straight. He makes me and then lie down. So you have two fingers out and then you lie them down in your non-dominant hand. Lie down in green pastures. So we're not gonna bother uh, signing green. We're just gonna do pastures. And we learned that during our Christmas carol songs, remember? So you have, okay. That's a plant coming up and then you show earth, okay? Pastures, pastures. He leads me beside still waters. So once again, pointed God in heaven, he and then leads me. You're gonna take your non-dominant hand and pull your dominant hand. He leads me uh, to still waters, okay? If you wanna do beside, it's like this but you don't have to sign every word in sign language. Remember, you're just doing the main ideas, okay? Still is like this, calm, and then water is a W at your chin, okay? Water. Let's try that from the top. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. So he, and then restores. So there's a couple different options for restore. I've seen people do, you know, do a B here before to now. So moving from B to K, but probably the easiest sign. So what I'm gonna encourage you guys to do is you take your non-dominant hand out like this with a fist, and then it's like you're refinishing something, okay? Restores. He restores my, or you could also just point to yourself, and then soul, non-dominant hand, making a cup, and then kind of show like a spirit. Um, I kind of think of it as like a candle flame. You know, when you watch the smoke come up from that? Okay, soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness. Pointing to God, he, and then leads me Okay, once again, leads me in paths of righteousness. So we don't have to say paths, you can if you want, you can just show the path, but he leads us in righteousness, not necessarily paths of righteousness. So for that, it's just like holy, only you're gonna make an R, okay? Twist those fingers and then across the hand twice, okay? I've also seen it once and then smooth, but I've always done, kept the same finger position, okay? In righteousness, for his namesake, 
Okay, let's try that from the top. Okay, we're adding just a little bit each time. Don't worry if you make mistakes, okay? I say it all the time. God cares far more about the condition of your heart than the position of your hands, okay? It's just sign language is a great tool to helping us worship him as well as learning memory work. Okay, so from the top, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside still waters, he restores my soul. He leads, he leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Okay, so we're saying even though Okay, so opening your fingers and moving them back and forth, even though I, or I, whatever you prefer, walk, okay, just imagining your hands walking, through, okay, but you can leave through out, so I'm just cutting my dominant hand through my non-dominant hand, but you can also just leave that word out. Valley, just take your hands, make the shape of a valley, and then the shadow of death, we're just gonna do death. So for that, you take one hand facing up, one hand facing down, and then switch them, okay? That was a big line, let's do that together. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, or I will fear no evil. So I, or I, and then fear, fear is, you bring your hands in like you're scared, okay? Fear, and you wanna make sure you show it in your body language too, okay? I fear, no, so you're making an N here and you knock it, okay, no. I fear, no, and then evil. I've seen evil kind of like this, like you're making a devil, but I learned it as this, okay? So you start with your fingers at your chin and then you kind of just push it away. Evil, evil, okay. Let's try those two lines together. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. You are with, two fists coming together, me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So sometimes sign language, we have to make changes so that we don't cause confusion. So. If this is just a tool for you to memorize the words, then you can absolutely just do rod and staff. But in this particular situation, it's God's word and his spirit that comfort us. So if you would like to sign that, it's words, you make like a P, like that, word and spirit, we learned that already, comfort us. And for that, you kind of go over each hand, okay, comfort and then comfort me, okay? So, your word and your spirit, so your rod and your staff comfort me, okay? Let's try that from the very, very top. I know, I know, there's a lot to learn today, but just stick with me, you will get there and you will feel so great when you do, okay? So, the Lord, is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley, the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Your rod, word, your staff, spirit, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me. You and then prepare, kind of do this with your hands, okay? 
prepare, and then table. Remember we learned this when we did Chris Tomlin's The Table Song? Nice and easy. Table, okay? For me, so you don't have to do before there because he's preparing a table for you. In the presence of my enemies. So presence, it's like this, two hands together. Imagine they're each people. In the presence of my enemies. So for enemies, you're kind of showing like a battle back and forth person, okay? Enemies. Okay, you anoint my head with oil. You, and then anoint my head with oil. We're just gonna take kind of like a thumbs up here on the side, and you're gonna do a cross on your forehead, okay? Anoint my head with oil. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. My cup, okay? So you're making kind of a cup, and then runneth over like this runneth over. And then the last part, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. So goodness, good, and mercy. So good, you just have your fingers together coming out from your chin. Goodness and mercy. Okay, we've learned before it's that middle finger that's our feeling finger. So whenever we have a feeling, it's generally that finger and mercy is coming from heaven. Okay, mercy shall follow me. So we're not gonna do shall follow me, we're gonna do shall continue, okay? So for that, you have two thumbs up on the side and you kind of push it out. So shall continue all the days of my life. So all, okay, so you take your hand, your dominant hand and moving it around your non-dominant hand, all the days of my life, okay? L's coming to your stomach and then up to your ribs, okay? And I will dwell, once again, live in the house. That's nice and easy. Just draw a house with your hands of the Lord forever. Okay, and forever you take your index finger, you go around, then you turn your hand, thumb and pinky finger, and then push out. Okay, and that is everything. Oh, and then we need to learn Psalm 23. But first, let's run through the whole thing together and then I'll teach you how to sign Psalm 23, if you'd like. Okay. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside, so you can do beside if you want, still waters. He restores my soul, or just point to yourself too, my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod, remember we do word there, and your spirit, staff, we're doing spirit instead, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay? Now, I'll teach you Psalm 23, and then we can run through everything together, or if you're feeling good, you don't have to watch the end of the video. Okay, so Psalms, you're gonna finger spell it. So it starts with a P, so for that, like K is up and P is on its side. P, and then S, you have a fist, but your thumb is across your fingers. A, same fist, but your thumb is on the top of your fingers. L, so it's my left hand, so your right hand, it won't look backwards. M, so it's just like N, but your thumb goes one farther. M and then S, okay? Try that again. So P, S, A, L, M, S. 
And then 23, you have two options. You can either do two, three and kind of rock it, or you can keep your fingers just like this and just kind of dip your middle finger, okay? Psalm 23. So let's try Psalm 23. Uh, we'll sign Psalm 23 and then we'll go right in to the whole verse. Okay, guys? So, P S A L M S 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no, sorry, <laughs> there, no evil. Your rod, word, and your staff, spirit, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Looking at my camera, I'm seeing that this is the longest video we've ever done. So if you are still here and sticking with it, thumbs up, way to go, okay? And if you had trouble, gosh, just take a break and come back. You'll get there. It took me a number of times to learn it before I came on video. So you are gonna be in the same situation. I hope you all are having a great day and I hope I'll see you at the next song. Bye. If you liked today's video, please click like. It gives me the encouragement I need to make more. Also, don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll miss no future songs. And lastly, share sign language worship on Facebook. Find a friend to learn sign with. That way you're both more likely to stick with it. See you later.